Um, could I talk to you for a second? Oh, you know what? I was going to call you later and see what time you want me to drop Jamie off tomorrow. Well, no, see, uh, that's the thing. I, I, I have to ask you a favor. I was wondering if I could take him this weekend instead. Let me get out my date book and see if I'm free. Oh, well, surprise, I am. <laughs> <laughs> Alone and dateless, that makes two of us. Well, if we're both so unpopular, why do we need to change dates? I, uh, I'm, uh, gonna be going out of town. I need more info. I'm going to Pigeon Hollow. To see Dixie? No, to hunt for crawdads. What do you think? Of course, to see Dixie. Well, why now? Because I, I, I just, I gotta know. I'm tired of living in limbo. I gotta know if she wakes up in the middle of the night because she's dreaming about me, if she talks to me when she's washing the dishes. I gotta know if she thinks about me at all. I'm gonna ask her to come home. What if she says no? I, uh, I haven't thought that far yet. As far as I'm concerned, she's gotta come back. I mean, I'd love to give you guys a ride home, but I'm only here because I'm catching a flight. Oh, but, oh well, we love you anyway. Oh, wow. <laughs> Wish to know. Business trip? I uh, know, actually, I'm flying down to Pigeon Hollow. Dixie called? No, she didn't call. Um, I'm just going to go down and bring her home. Uh, Tad, has uh, Dixie given you any encouragement? No. Well, do you think it's wise to go after her? Yeah, I do. I have to point out to you that the uh, odds, you know, are... Know. Yeah. Darling, aren't you setting yourself up for more disappointment? Well, you know what they say, no guts, no glory, right? Mm -hmm. So, I'm gonna do it. Sudden decision. It's not, Dad. I've wanted her back since the day she left. And she very clearly did not want you to go after her. Well, what do you expect me to do? Come on, when your life walks out the door, you gotta go after it. It's not like I can do anything else. I can't eat, I can't sleep. I think I see her everywhere I go. I think about her a hundred times a day, and, and nights are worse. Come on, I, at least I gotta talk to her. Well, Tad, I, I think your mother's right. I mean, if Dixie didn't want to hear from you, you could just push your father away. Dad, she couldn't be any further away if she was living in Tahiti. Look, I've honored Dixie's wishes. I've get, given her plenty of time to think. But what we had is part of us. It's, it's, it's part of both of us. Darling, are you sure? Our marriage can work. I know it can. I just have to be the one to make the first move. Well, you're a brave man. Oh, Good luck. Oh, yes, darling. Move that speed. Thanks. Oh, thank give you. our best to Dixie. I will. Oh, we miss her, too. I know. Mm -hmm. I think I uh, better give Kelsey oh, another yes, call. Oh, yes, darling, please do. Yes. Listen, come here. Mm -hmm. How was Oregon? Rainy. And, uh, how was Tara? She's upset, as you can imagine. Sure. But she's trying to be positive. She wants Kelsey and Sam to come back home. What do you want? Oh, honey, I don't know. Kelsey will not be happy in Oregon. I, I know that. Of course, she's, <laughs> she's not happy here, either. She and Sam are, are just miserable. Your father and I are just about at our wit's end. Yeah, yeah. Well, listen. <laughs> There's nobody better in the world that's equipped to deal with her. Because I know. I broke both of you myself. <laughs> you did, didn't yes. you? Oh, yeah, Dad's got a few more gray hairs. <laughs> I, uh, I, I'm sorry, Mom. I missed you I so know. much, but I, I gotta run at my gate, okay? Good luck, darling. I love you. Mm -hmm. No answer. Oh, Joe, you don't think Kelsey's run away again, do you? Um... Only in Pigeon Hollow. Dixie? 
Junior? Anybody home? Guess not. Keeping it oiled, just like I told you. Good boy. It must be soccer season by now. Dixie, don't shoot. I... Hi. Stuart, what are you doing here? Uh, Pigeon Hollow is my hometown. <laughs> right. Yeah, right. Uh, I, I'm sorry. That's, I, I meant, uh, why are you here? I'd, I'd come see an artist in Charleston. Oh. Oh, so uh, I guess you were just in the neighborhood, huh? Yeah, well, just about. <laughs> Well, I guess you're... You're wondering what I'm doing here? No, Adam called Dixie last night. He did. The old tat alert, huh? <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, that probably explains why you're not exactly bowled over. The surprise. Where's Dixie? Uh, I'm not supposed to tell. Who said? Adam? Uh, no. Dixie. She doesn't want to see you, Tad. Stuart, if Dixie doesn't want to see me, then I think she should be the one to tell me that. She asked me to. Since when are you a chaperone? <laughs> Stuart, look, all you're doing is helping Adam jerk her around. Uh, no, no, Adam's not jerking her around. He cares about her. Oh, yeah, he, he cares about her the same way he cared about her when he tried to take away her son. No, they, they worked through all that for Junior's sake. So what's your point? That she can work with Adam, but she can't work with me? Stuart, look, your brother has wiped the floor with Dixie, and yet he pops in and out of here any time he feels... But like Adam, should... Adam is Junior's father, and if, if Dixie is happy... But she's so not happy. Son. She can't be happy. Stuart, Dixie and I belong together. She doesn't think so, Dad. Of course she does. Don't you ever tell me that. She's, she's just afraid. She's afraid that if she looks at me, th that she'll want to come home. She's afraid if she looks in my eye, then, then her, then her, uh, then her heart her, is, is going to, her heart's going to break, Dad. That's what she's afraid of. Stuart, it's already broken. So is mine. She's trying to get over it. I'm begging you. I'm begging you, Stuart. Please, just... Just let me talk to Dixie. Uh, write her a letter. No, I, 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 I don't want to write her a letter. I, she's got... She's got to hear this. She's got to hear it from me. She's got to look me in the eye. Stuart, 
the night she left, she, she asked me for something, something that could have changed everything. She asked me for a promise. It was a promise I wanted more than anything to make to her, but I couldn't because I didn't trust myself. And I loved her too much to lie. I still do. But, so, um, I was afraid, see, that I would I just end up hurting her again, and, I, and, I, and, I, and I, I couldn't do that, okay? But I'm not afraid anymore, Stuart, because I know there's nothing to be afraid of. Dixie is the only person that there's ever gonna be for me. Stuart, you've got to, you've got to let me tell her what she needs to know. So you really think you've changed? I know I have. How? How can you be so sure, Dad? Because of Liza. Sure. Look, I thought I had to lie to Dixie about my feelings for Liza because I was attracted to her. And I didn't want to hurt Dixie. And one lie turned into another lie, and then all of a sudden I had to tell a whopper to cover those, and it just... It turned into a mess, Stuart. But that's what destroyed our marriage, not, not some stupid one-night stand. I was afraid to deal with the truth, and Dixie has never been able to deal with anything but the truth. And so you think you can now? You think you can deal with the truth now? Liza is still there, in Pine Valley. Dixie's gone, but it doesn't matter. Because I love Dixie. I don't have anything to give anybody else. Stuart, just... Just tell her that I'm sorry it took so long, but I am here. And I'm hers, body and soul. Okay, I'll do my best. Okay, you'll, 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 you'll talk to her. I can't me. promise that she's going to change you her don't mind. don't promise Dad. anything. All you got to do is get her in this room. I'll try. Dixie sent you this. This is my home, Tad. Please go back to yours. Our lives are separate now. I'll always remember the good times, but the pain I can never forget. If you are ready to give your heart and soul, find someone to love. Start over. What we had is finished. I want to get on with my life. Get on with it. Get on with it. 